I'm about to show you guys the Facebook strategy that I'm using to scale this dropshipping store to almost 30k in under 30 days. Let me quickly refresh this for you guys and mind you we're scaling this very very slowly. This store is brand new we have been running it for like probably 20 days 25 days and we have a pretty good profit margin as you guys can see we have an average order value of $143 which is crazy. I feel like a lot of YouTubers try to complicate Facebook ads so much that you guys go straight to TikTok ads just because you think it's easier and in this video I'm gonna show you guys with this strategy that it's a lot easier than you might think and you don't need a crazy strategy but wait the only thing i will ask from you guys is if you like me or you like my content make sure you guys subscribe and like this video it really helps me you know grow the channel as much as possible but i'm really happy with you know our channel and the community we have grown so thank you guys so much i really appreciate you all now obviously the first step to get sales through literally any advertising platform is to have a good product that's actually selling so if you're stuck i made a list to help you guys out of the best drop shipping periods so let's say like winter is almost here so you might want to start looking into winter products so how do we actually find those products right i'm gonna tell you guys my way and the way that i'm liking the most which is really simple totally free basically just going to facebook ads library and searching up a keyword on your niche so if i'm looking to sell in the health niche i'm gonna search up something like sculpting and when you do search that up you're gonna get a bunch of products that uses that um specific keyword on their ad copy so this one is like a cellulite product that basically helps with tone in the body getting snatched it looks weird but check this out Reedu sculpts a device that uses three in one technology to sculpt the body yeah so as you guys can see it's a perfect product that solves acute security for a lot of women so this is definitely a winning product now we know they are making a bunch of ads but we don't know if they're actually selling making money with this product and so you guys are just not wasting your time and your money on like products that are not actually selling i'm gonna give you guys a little tip go over to shophunter.io to actually see if your product has potential what shop hunter will do is basically validate the product based on the shopify store's revenue which will make your life like 10 times easier trust me let me show you guys really quickly i just got the url from the product that we were just looking at i'm gonna paste the url here on shop hunter add to shop and we're gonna be able to see their revenue and again looks like i was right they're making really really good like 30k days which is insane with that product alone if you scroll down you guys can also see like what kind of products they're selling and like their revenue by the day shop hunter also has something called future live which lets you see what creatives are actually performing really really well for this brand so you're not wasting your time and spending money on creatives that doesn't work and you can literally download them straight from the site which is great you can literally see their total orders by the rolling 24 hours the aov which is crazy like they literally give you every information you need to actually tell if it's worth running that product or not you guys can also see like the staff picks which are like the best advertised products the best performing stores recently added products that like are literally not saturated at all and you can start selling right now and again you can try this for completely free so make sure you guys take advantage of that i'll leave the link in the description for you guys to try it out the biggest mistake i see people making with facebook ads is thinking that their ai algorithm is dumb and that it can't find your customers so you add a bunch of interest right off the bat and doesn't let facebook actually optimize and find the best audience for you when testing a product creators will be your number one thing so you want to have as many as possible with different voiceovers different models using the product different angles let's say you have 10 creatives or ads whatever you want to call it and they have different angles so five will be more of like a before and after kind of thing and the other five will be more educated so like more explaining what your product is we want to test them both separately so when creating the cbo we're gonna have two ad sets one's gonna have the before and after and the other one's gonna have the more educational kind of angle so we can test both of them all right once you're inside your facebook ads manager you're gonna click here on create you're gonna get this page you're gonna always select sales and then continue right here you're gonna do manual don't click on advantage plus unless you're like scaling but just stick with uh, manual for now all right on this page you're basically just gonna put the name i'm gonna put cbo that's just because you know it's a cbo campaign you, the only thing you're gonna change on this page is basically the advantage campaign budget which just means that facebook is going to like place our um, budget in our money on the best performing ad sets so we're gonna just put a hundred dollars and then click next now when you click next you're gonna get to your um ad set page and for this first ad set we're gonna do the before and after 
other angle like i was telling you guys earlier so this is gonna be this ad set we're gonna do website for the performance always maximize number of conversions you're gonna select your pixel so let me just select this one it's the old one that i had always choose for the conversion rate always choose purchase because that's what you want when you have that in you're just gonna scroll not i'm um, changing anything here on the dynamic creative once you do get to the budget schedule i always do it for 6 a.m in the next day that's just what works for me to be honest and i'm gonna teach you guys this way i feel like you know if you start at midnight people are literally sleeping and once you're testing you're not gonna have a big audience you know to deliver your ads it's just a way that has been working for me so that's what i'm gonna be teaching you guys so 6 a.m scrolling down on audience control you can leave it like this but i like to just switch the um, original audience so use original and right here is where you can basically add if you're the age the gender and i don't do any interest because again we want to let facebook find the best audience for us the only thing i will change though is the gender if your product is only for female or only for men but if it's a very broad product very general that both genders can buy i will literally just leave it all but that's really up to you and for the product that you're selling and then for placements also just leave it as it is and click next so right here on ad setup you're just going to do manual upload and then for the format it's going to be single um image or video right here i just turned this option off just because it doesn't really give me good results right here i don't touch anything and then right here on the ad creative is where you're gonna add your video so your creatives i mean just one of them right here on the primary text is gonna be you know your main text that's gonna appear in the caption so just think of something good if you don't know what to put go on chat gbt and make it generate a caption for you for the headline same thing just ask chat gbt to do it for you and then right here for the call to action just do shop now or learn more and then scrolling down for the destination you're obviously gonna put your website url right here your product page not your home page you want people to actually land on your product page so it's easier for them to actually buy your product and then right here you just select none and then that's it so so far really really simple guys remember we have five creatives for this specific angle the before and after so we're gonna click here on these three little dots quick duplicate it's gonna just basically duplicate and you're gonna do that until you actually have five um ads on this so we have one two three four one more okay so i just changed the name so you guys can you know understand a little bit better visually and for each ad so again this is our campaign the cbo this is our ad set which is gonna have the five creatives inside of them with the before and after angle so in every single ad right here that we duplicated it's gonna have its own video now we want to test out also the other angle which is gonna be more the educational one so we're gonna click here on the before and after three little dots action menu and actually click on duplicate this page is going to pop up just click on duplicate so now you have the before and after copy and so we don't get confused we're going to change the name to educational angle and then right here you're also going to have five ad sets and once again the only thing we will change is the creatives the videos and this time each one is going to have its own creative but with a more educational angle and that's it guys it's that easy so again you have your cbo campaign with two ad sets right here both the before and after and your educational one and in each one it has its own five creatives because we're testing 10 creatives 10 ads and once you have everything done the only thing you have to do is just click on public and there you go now for the abo it's a little bit different but it's not exactly the same and i'm going to show you guys in a minute and then for the abo we're going to do 10 ad sets at 10 dollars each or five of them at a 20 dollar budget and we're still going to be testing the two angles separately so two of them is going to have the before and after and the other two we're going to be using the more educational angle and the the one that it's left number five you can either choose to literally put all 10 creatives in the ad set or you can just choose whatever you want either the before and after or the more educational one and just pick so again same process you're gonna create on create and then sales continue manual sales campaign and then right here you're gonna put the name abo just so we know which one is which and the difference is that this time we're not gonna change anything right here so you're just gonna click on next right here we're gonna do the same thing the ad set name we're gonna do before and after right here the same process website the pixel it's already selected the conversion is going to be purchase always literally same thing guys not going to change anything here and then now for the daily budget since we're doing five ad sets at a 20 dollars budget we're just going to leave it at 20 and then right here we're going to do it for tomorrow at 6 a.m scrolling down same thing you can either literally you know let facebook do its thing or switch to original one we're going to do that and then again if it's a uh, both genders just do it broad if it's 
not just choose female or men and then you're going to click next and again literally same process once you get to the page where you actually add your ads literally same process manual upload single image and you're just going to click this off add your image so basically the before and after angles your little text literally same thing website url turn this off not going to show it because i literally just did and i think this video is already too long so i'm basically just going to duplicate this five more times all right i'm done labeling them just so you guys you know understand a little bit better so again add one two three four five all in the same angle that we're testing and since we're doing two of the before and after we're just gonna click here on the three little dots and do quick duplicate so we basically have the copy and you don't actually need to say any like copy and then once again we're gonna click on duplicate again do twice and now this time we're actually going to change it up. So for this, we're going to click right here and then do the other angle, right? Which is the more educational angle. Perfect. So again, now we have two before and afters and then two educational angle. Now, obviously it's going to have the same creatives as the before and after. So you're going to have to change for both of these ad sets and you're just going to go here on the ad creative section and just change it. So, you know, it doesn't have the same creative. So right here again, we have the ABO campaign with one, two, three three and four ad sets two of them is going to be the same before and after and the other two the educational angles and now for the fifth one like i said for the missing one you can literally just duplicate either one of them that you believe it's going to work the most or like you think it's the best creative or what you can do is basically duplicate this and add a fifth um, ad set with all 10 creatives to see if it actually performs better and that's basically what i do guys it's really really simple you don't need something crazy facebook it's not something that you know you have to have this this crazy strategy to work i just want to show you guys i know i showed it quickly but i hope you guys can have kind of an idea i just wanted to show you guys what i actually do and what i am doing to scale the brand to literally like 20k in 20 days these are actually the campaigns that i was talking about they literally have the same structure as you guys can see only like this is today we have a 4.29 roas 3.46 roas 2.85 roas for three different campaigns which is awesome because our breaking even is like a two or like a 1.5 and that's that's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to like this video if you got any value and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.